Women in Power at Nuffield Southampton Theatre's City Venue. Women in Power is a new version of Aristophanes Assembly Women. It sticks pretty closely to the original story in which women take over the government from the corrupt and incompetent men. Uh, Aristotle was having a go at the male politicians rather than seriously suggesting that women could run things. So while they turn the tables on the men by making it law that the oldest and least attractive women have first choice of male lover, uh, they also introduce pure communism with disastrous results. What's great about this production is that women are in power on stage and off. Uh, it's been written by seven prominent women and it has a cast of six women and it's directed with Verve by Blanche McIntyre. And the women use this power to create a fun entertainment that makes a few points along the way. Really it's a series of sketches and perhaps because it's the work of so many different hands, uh, some work well and some are stilted and cliched. But the ones that work are very funny. Um, I should also say, in the tradition of Aristophanes, very rude. Um, there's much fun made of men uh, and their genitalia, uh, but also uh, mockery of women. In one hilarious scene, the women vie for a young man's uh, attention by competing in uh, droopiness and looseness, if you get my drift. And in another, uh, Lisa Kerr, whose all-round performance skills are very impressive, uh, plays a man in a naked male bodysuit. Uh, the man's obeying the law that he must give up all his possessions um, and is persuaded to follow this to its logical conclusion and give away his clothes as well. The songs which uh, intersperse this production uh, were actually written by a man, Tim Sutton, and they're excellent pastiches of uh, well-known musical songs and have uniformly witty lyrics. Despite the show's unevenness, which makes me reluctant to give it more than three stars, Women in Power is well worth seeing.